So uh, how do we start the planning question and move on to the question? Okay, so for example, uh, um, an intro to this section. If this is a question, and this is actually an actual, actual exam question, you are given some impure limestone, which is an impure form of calcium carbonate. So there are calcium carbonate and impurity. Design an experimental plan to determine the percentage of calcium carbonate in the sample of limestone. Note that limestone does not dissolve in water. So they're very kind. They do they scared you don't know. So I say thank you. <clears throat> so from there, what do we do? Okay. Uh you always think of what reaction you're gonna do. It's always a chemical reaction, right? Chemistry, man, chemical reaction. Unless it's a separation technique question. If not always chemical reaction. So you want to you start with the end in mind. That's what I would say, right? Okay, so this is my top process. You can draw a flow chart. Basically, this is my flow chart, which I put in bullet point. Okay. So again, this is my flow chart. All right. So I make it uh this one, then later we go here. Okay. My immediate top process will be like this. Huh? This is my flow. I start here. Why start here? It's common sense. I'll show you why. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna think very quickly for a few points if I need to, but I'm going to start here. I end I eventually end here. Why? Huh? I always start with the aim of the question. Actually, I don't have to explain this. Everyone, you should be thinking like that, right? Uh, it's here, the aim of the question. All right, what is the aim? The aim is to find the percentage of carbonate in a sample of impure limestone. So the sample, we need to know what is the sample size. We, by right, we, we, we know the sample. So the question right now is how you find the calcium carbonate, the mass of it. All right, how you find the mass of the calcium carbonate? Weight balance. Okay, weight balance. Weight balance, but it's in the, it's in the limestone. <laughs> you got mixture, like, it's one big lump like, or powder. How you find it? You cannot find uh, right, So you cannot find. So the question, okay, how? Question mark, huh? How I find the mass of calcium carbonate? So I have to think of what? Think of reaction. So what react with calcium carbonate, which is a carbonate? I think of acid. Make sense? So I ask myself. Right? That's the only reaction I know with carbonate. So acid carbonate, how you react? Make sense? Then you can say acid with a carbonate. All right, we always think of we want to collect result, right? To find, I think of titration. Make sense? But I got a problem. Because I only can do direct titration, which as your level, to be honest, you won't see one. All right. Your reactant A must be aqueous, your reactant B must be aqueous. Make sense? My reactant A is HCl is equals no problem. But what's my reactant B? Calcium carbonate. I discussed this earlier on, if not yesterday. Make sense? This is the problem. So what I do, I got problem. And you know I'm going to come here immediately if you're fast enough. But anyway, we leave it there first. And I ask myself, okay, I would have some balance equation. So I can write out my balance equation. Ah, right? HCl with calcium carbonate by right. Then I ask myself what happened. Uh, and you ask other questions. All right, like, okay, since we are titration, so should we just add acid from the burette to the limestone? Once again, this part clear already, as in done. Wrong. No, you cannot. How you find the indicator change color? All right, so confirm wrong. So I say then, okay, then shit, how I carry out the titration? How to know the end point? All right. So the step will then be what? I need to first dissolve the limestone. All right, the limestone, which has a calcium carbonate. All right, in uh, excess of the acid. I'm going to put it in the excess acid. All right, and then I'm going to titrate the unreacted excess acid. So therefore, everyone should must agree with me. It should be back titration. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so the top process must come in like that. Make sense? Okay, now, so back titration, it shall be. Then back titration, you have to ask yourself a question. Back titration question <laughs> this is not this design an experiment so first okay then we say okay that titration good so we want to have limestone add with acid so first question how much limestone you want to use uh? they give you 10 grams so how much you want to use you want to use 10 gram 1 gram 0.1 gram 5 gram 3 gram how much you want to use how you determine and you want to use acid to react right hey see how good hey see how how much uh, you want to use What's the volume? What's the concentration? One more per dm cube? 0 0.1 more per dm cube? 0 0.3 more per dm cube? Which one are you going to use? And what indicator you use? So you need to and what you need to memorize the indicator color. 
cannot identify that can forget or cannot memorize integrator color what do you do lose that one mark doesn't matter huh no. meet orange you <laughs> last time last time you know what's a saver but you cannot use it the di paper la, no, di, di, right? no la, you don't la, we don't use that last time the saver is phenolphthalein because the syringe is very big phenolphthalein now you cannot use anymore right? can you use your code because carcinogenic, I don't think they, they allow anymore. Last time it covered all shit. <laughs> all kinds of diabetes phenolphthalein. So all that phenolphthalein. Okay? It's the simplest. Now, uh, okay, if you really cannot use, memorize one or two, like, metal orange. Metal orange, the endpoint is always orange color. So it depends on whether your acidic alkaline where you start the conical flask is either red or yellow. Make sense? If the conical flask is acid, what color you have? <laughs> red, right? Yeah, that's how you memorize one. Huh? Acid, always red. Oh, so my way, if she hit the fence, you really cannot, then just what, what suitable indicator. And say when there's a color change, I know that's a volume. Everyone okay? You cannot stop there and say don't write. Make sense or not? Minus one mark doesn't matter. Let them minus. You got to move the question. Don't get stuck. That's a key point. Next. How much uh, pipette uh, into the conical flask? How much you pipette? This one can fix up. Usually you put how much? 25. But you make sure your solution you prepare is more than 25. And you're going to do average, right? So the solution you prepare, you make sure has at least 100. So I can do at least three tighter. Not four. It's true. Do we need to do dilution? You need to consider, right? You need to dilute further. Okay? So all have to be asked. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me water. <coughs> 